Well, NATO member Finland closed its last remaining border crossing with Russia yesterday, sealing off the entire border amid rising political tensions. Finland is accusing Russia of deliberately ushering migrants to the border zone in an alleged act of hybrid warfare. The Kremlin denies these accusations and called the move, quote, excessive. So for more on this, we're joined by Finnish ambassador to the United States, Miko uh, Hautula, um, to talk a little bit about this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, um, Ambassador. I found this story fascinating, and I think what people need to know is that the border, you can't drive up to the border, right? So what Finland had been noticing is that people were bicycling to the border. They were being given bicycles on Russia's side so they could bicycle to the border and then ask for asylum. Can you explain exactly what's happening at the border and why Finland felt the need to close it off? Yeah, thanks. Good morning and thanks for having me. Uh, so basically, Russians started a couple of weeks ago to really send uh, an aid and facilitate movement of people towards the border. And that was the reason why we started to uh, temporarily close the border stations in order to prevent that. So they are deliberately using and exploiting these people um, and by sending them to the border. So that's why we decided that uh, we have to prevent that from happening. And now we have closed all the remaining uh, border stations. And actually, for the last couple of days, um, we have had zero uh, migrants coming through. So it seems to be working. And Ambassador, just to clarify, these are not Russians that are, that are coming to the border. Who's, who are these migrants? They come from different countries. Uh, basically, all of them are from third countries who are legally in Russia. So for some reasons, Russia decided to change its longstanding policy of not doing this by sending these people to the border. This is not a surprise, actually. We've seen this before, and, and to an extent, we also expected that something that like this could happen at some point. We're also seeing this happening in other borders by Russia, let's say uh, in Poland and Lithuania. So this is not a, a surprise or a new situation. I would rather put this in the context, in a wider context of Russia's attempts to destabilize the West, to cause trouble, to really test our resolve. And obviously, Finland doesn't want to see an irregular situation at the border. So that's why we had to, had to close the borders to, to bring things back to normal. And obviously, as I said, this is a temporary decision. So should the Russians go back to the previous practice of preventing that movement, I think we would be happy to um, take a new look and, and reopen the border stations. But but things are not normal between Finland and Russia, Mr. Ambassador. Can you describe the tension that exists between two nations, uh, even away from this subject of migrants? Uh, well, obviously, like all the European Union countries and the NATO countries, Finland has has adopted a lot of sanctions. Uh, most of our business relations are gone, and obviously, we don't have political level negotiations like um, other European countries don't don't have them. I wouldn't call it a tension. I think we have a pretty normal situation. Otherwise, militarily, it's very quiet. Um, and this is actually the only only problem, a uh, specific problem that we currently have. Um, you know, in our lead in, we characterize this as hybrid warfare. Do you agree with that? And, and why would it fall into that category? Uh, the fact that they decided, and obviously the Russian Border Service, which is part of the FSB, um, and it's directly or subordinated to the president, the fact that they decide to change their long-established practice and, and, and try to do this, um, and they exactly know that this will cause problems for us, and this is actually a national security threat to have people that we don't know who they are, uh, why they are coming, what their backgrounds are. So obviously, this is a, there is a security aspect here. And that's also the reason why we have to take these uh, rather um, important decisions. So I'm going to sort of push back a little and say, so these are people that are seeking some sort of asylum, some sort of protection. I mean, what could the numbers be like that they could be a destabilizing factor? Uh, now, the most important thing here is the change in Russia's behavior. That's the—that has changed. So, Finland obviously has taken in 
tens of thousands of refugees recently from Ukraine, from other countries. So we obviously stay committed to providing refugee and asylum for those people who, who seek that for legitimate reasons. But we cannot accept being a target country for an operation that tries to in instrumentalize these people and tries to cause a problem that didn't exist and doesn't need to exist. So this is the, this is the difference between this and, and, let's say, normal situations. Mm. So, so, Mr. Ambassador, just to clarify before we go, uh, the migrants that are showing up at Finland's borders already have uh, the ability to stay and, and live in Russia. These are not migrants that are transiting through Eastern Europe. No. Uh, according to our information, all these people that we are now talking about, they are and they have been legally in Russia. Legally. So as you know, Russia is extremely tough on asylum uh, policies. So uh, there's a reason for, the, for them to be there. And, and many of them have been studying, working, etc. in Russia. So there was a reason that Russians tr really tried to use the, these people. And I would like to add that this is also dangerous because it's very cold. Mm. Uh, and there's a lot of snow, so we really would like not to see anything dramatic happening at the border uh, with these people. That's why we simply want to send a signal, don't come, there is a risk. Mm. Okay, Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much, appreciate it. Uh, and by the way, I love Helsinki, it's one of my favorite uh, cities uh, in Europe. Um, and and uh, yeah, so just wanted to say that because it's, it's a wonderful <laughs> Shout place. Out to Helsinki. Shout out to Helsinki. <laughs> Finland is the happiest nation in the earth uh, six years in a row. That's right. And that, I hope, <laughs> continues to be the case. Well, that's pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you.